Hello YouTube, it's Lane here with Hobbies of Man once again and today we are doing a, another first impressions video where I cover three different uh, series that I've read or at least volume ones of series that I read this uh, past month and uh, this is actually going to be the only one that features three volumes this month just because I don't have more shoujo manga to do for the other videos this month but yeah so the theme of this uh video or of this uh first impressions thing is actually shonen rom-coms Te well technically one of them is seinen but it's like male demographic aimed rom-coms and the point is that i'm just going to tell you a little bit about each one i'm going to tell you the basic book stats which is like the title and stuff and then i'll give you the premise and then a small snippet of opinion of mine about the series talking about the art or the story or whatever and then that will be all. I will try to keep each under five minutes so that you guys can basically not be here for a very long time. And I will also leave uh, the sections clearly marked on the description so that the chapters show up across the progress bar of the video so you can pick and choose whichever um, book you wanna see my first impressions on. So let's just jump into it. The first title that we're going to be looking at today is Rent a Girlfriend. This is written by Reiji Miyajima, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, there you go, that's how it's written. Uh, and the publisher is Kadansha, as you guys can see right there. This is published in an oversized Tonkoban, so it's like equivalent to a Viz signature. Um, and the demographic is Shonen. The genre here is purely rom-com, which is cool. And uh, this does have an anime adaptation. I have not personally watched it, but I know that it was a big hit uh, last season or the season before that. I'm not re really sure, but I do remember that a lot of people talked about it. Now, the premise here is that Kazuya, the male character back here, uh, has been recently dumped uh, and his girlfriend was only with him for a month. And feeling sad and lonely, he decides to sign up for this dating app thing, which is a kind of rent a girlfriend service and um he meets a girl and he gets mad that she's so uh unauthentic inauthentic basically he's mad that she's actually not as nice as she portrays herself to be and so he gets mad and well he gives her a bad rating and then they get together again for another date because she's mad at him for it and she like well and he like tries to get another date with her to apologize. And by accident, he brings her with him to see his grandma. His grandma thinks that he it, she's his real girlfriend and he's too afraid to tell her that she's not. And so a lot of weird shenanigans ensue. And it's actually really, really fun. Um, honestly, I'm really surprised. That's really the uh, thing that really amazed me is because I, I went into this with the expectations that it was gonna be funny but not really enjoyable. It was just gonna be like, okay, wow, that's like a funny gimmick, but it actually ended up being very nice. The art has wonderful expressions for the characters, which I like a lot. I think for series like this, the most important part of the art is the facial expressions um, and the manga delivers on that. And the story was actually surprisingly enjoyable. I thought it was gonna be really crappy. And the main character is like not a great person and he's kind of like crappy and kind of a loser but there's still something about him and the interaction that he has with chizuru that really is in enjoyable to read and interesting and i enjoy the comedy of it quite a lot because it's it's like a series of blunders that make them like have to interact together and it's really funny although that sort of comedic element is maybe not funny for everyone so, you know, your mileage may vary with this because it is a weird type of comedy, right? So just be aware. I think definitely try the first volume and if you don't enjoy it, then it's definitely not for you. I think this is a very like clear set thing where like if you read the first volume and you didn't like it, you're probably not gonna like the rest of it. So don't even bother with it. But uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on Rent a Girlfriend. Next we will be doing My Dress Up Darling. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> this is written by Shinichi Fukuda. Uh, it's published by Square Enix, as you guys can see right there. 
and the, dem the demographic is seinen. Now the genre here is rom-com and slice of life, and this does not currently have an anime adaptation, probably because it's way too etchy for the general populace. Although, I don't know, there's a lot of etchy shows, but I think that this one just is either not popular enough yet, or the, like, fan service-ness, or fan service-y aspects here are just a little too, like, <laughs> real for too many people. So I'm not really sure why, but it doesn't have an anime yet. Now the premise here is that this uh, doll making guy, Gojo, uh, is you know making dolls at school one day, and this girl Maureen ends up walking in on him, and Gojo has this kind of like fear that you know people are gonna judge him, and he doesn't have any friends because he just doesn't interact with anyone. And Maureen sees him, and she gets really happy and becomes his friend because she has this dream of being a cosplayer but she doesn't have the skills necessary in order to cosplay like sewing and all of the like make like the crafting aspects of cosplay and so they join forces because she has this great dream and this wonderful charismatic personality that Kojo just doesn't have the energy or the ability to say no to and yeah it's really an awesome story there's really important things that you can learn from this like the whole aspect here that's really important is maureen telling gojo hey man you have to like what you like and not be afraid of who you are and what you like because it doesn't matter what people think you know people are gonna dislike you for some reason or another and it doesn't matter you have to be true to yourself and i think that's a wonderful idea to share and i really like that <laughs> it doesn't like you you start reading this and you see what happens in some of the uh you know interactions and you wouldn't think that they would have such meaningful story and like like such meaningful uh fables to teach you or like things to teach you and yet it does and i think it's really surprising i really enjoyed it the art here is also very very nice i'm not gonna lie the fan service aspects are really good but it's actually a lot more wholesome than you would think it's really odd it's like an odd combination of like really weirdly etchy moments with very cute and gentle like friends interacting and kind of like helping this guy come out of his shell and I think it's really good really really enjoyed it next uh, we're gonna do golden time this is written by Yuyuko Takemiya who also wrote Toradora and Evergreen as you guys can see right there and uh the illustrator here is Ume Chazuke as you guys can see right there and it's published by Seven Seas. There. Uh, and the demographic is shonen. Now, the genre here is purely rom com, and it's, this is an adaptation of a light novel, and there's also an anime for this. Now, the premise here is basically that two guys by the name of Bonri and Mitsu, I think, uh, meet up one day that, like, basically they got lost on the way to their, like, campus after having orientation for law school they meet up and then this girl comes out of nowhere her name is Co uh, Coco and she does something weird with Mitsuo then some rom-com hijinks ensue and it's actually kind of interesting um this was actually kind of a disappointing title to me I didn't really enjoy it especially after reading two other rom-coms that I thought were going to be bad and actually turned out to be really good this one I thought it was going to be good and it turned out kind of boring and the uh, main female character, Coco, is actually kind of annoying. I don't really like her because she's, like, irreverently selfish. And it kind of sucks because she's, like, she doesn't actually take into account the guy that she's in love with. Like, she just assumes that he's going to do what she wants. And it just kind of annoys me because, like, bro, it, that's so horrible. That's just, like, not great. I don't know. I didn't really like it. So it was actually kind of disappointing, but I'm going to give it one or two more volumes before chucking it, just because I think that there is something good coming, especially with the last little bit of the book. Um, there was a like a possibility of a new character int being introduced. I'm not exactly sure, but if a new character shows up and there's a second girl that's like involved in the rom-com and she ends up being pretty good in comparison to Koku, 
Coco, I might enjoy this. It's just right now it was okay and it was somewhat funny at some points. Um, some of the stuff that Coco does is ridiculous and funny enough to keep you entertained. But overall, she's a really annoying character that I just did not enjoy. And so that's why I'm kind of disappointed. Still, I'm gonna definitely give it one volume at least uh, to convince me it's good. Other than that, uh, otherwise, um, I'm just gonna end up selling it because I don't really have time or space in order to collect things that really don't, you know, hook me. So uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I had for you today. Let me know some other series that are similar to this. It would be really cool to see some more stuff. I'm trying to get into rom-coms and slice of life things a lot more. But, you know, it's kind of difficult to collect a lot of them because they are good, but they end up being very similar over and over again across the series. And so it's kind of like annoying to collect them because, hey, man, I'm wasting all this money and it's just the same thing over and over again. So I'm trying to look for some really cool, interesting stuff to read in this genre. So let me know if there's any. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy, please like subscribe and comment down below let me know what you thought thank you guys for watching once again and see you guys later